wanted to show you my front yard garden and ask for a little bit of advice. I grow things out front that don't really do so well in the big garden out, out back in the full sun. Um, I've heard that greens grow best in shade, so I'm going to show you what I have here so far and tell you what we did last year. We have kind of a long section here in front of the house. Up close to the house we have just some flowers, some daffodils and hyacinths and things like that. Some iris um, and a pot of hens and chicks. And then out further we have the second row where I've done some herbs and things like that. Um, last year was the first year that we tried that row. And in this first section here I grew parsley which did very well. And I can't tell for sure, but there's something coming up here. I think it may be parsley from last year that's regrowing. I'm not positive on that because it's not very big yet. And there's some there too. So I may um, reseed that with some more parsley because it did well. The second section is chives, which are doing fantastic. They were just little baby ones last year and this year they're bigger. And this box is pretty much full. The next section we had cilantro, which did okay. I think cilantro needs full sun, and the plants that were closer to the edge were really reaching out for the sun out in the yard um, to get more sunlight, because this is, this is a pretty shady area most of the day. And this is sorrel, and if you have not heard of sorrel, it's a green like you put in a salad. It has a lemony flavor to it. And if you put this in a salad with maybe some baby spinach or some lettuce, you almost don't need salad dressing because this has a lot of tang to it. It's very tasty. And then over here we tried spinach, which didn't do very well at all. I think because our soil is so sandy. That's my guess anyway. So I'm debating what to do here. And we had a couple of cabbage plants here that got eaten by worms. And then last but not least, we have some kale. And the kale did okay. It could be larger, but this is what survived over the winter. And it doesn't look like the pests have gotten it yet. But I'm happy to see that returning and hopefully it'll get larger this year with some natural fertilizer. So the advice I'm asking is, what are some good perennial greens that you like to grow that do well in areas that have a lot of shade, more shade than sun? I'd like to get um, planting some things in here that we don't have to really seed every year. And I do have some seeds that I found in my seed box that I'm gonna try to plant. I've got, well I do have my cilantro seeds that I'm gonna plant those, um, which are not perennial. I have some coneflower, which I'm gonna plant, um, which is a perennial. And I happen to find some purslane seeds which I don't know for sure if they're perennial. I think they reseed themselves and will come back the following year. Um, so we're gonna try that. They're old seeds, so I'm kind of taking a gamble on that. And I also found some carrot seeds. I don't know if carrots need full, full sun or if they do okay in the sand here. Um, these are a couple years old too, so I'm kind of taking a gamble with those, but this is what I got. So if you have any suggestions for um, greens that will go grow good in the shade and will be perennial, please let me know. Leave some comments below or send me an email. I'd love to hear your ideas for that and advice for growing things in the shade. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.